Welcome to the webinar Daimler for the Energy Industry. This webinar will cover the usage of Daimler to model, simulate, and validate complex energy systems across a range of applications. The agenda for this webinar is focused on the design challenges and the development and control of power generation and distribution systems. We will present solutions for the modeling and simulation of heat pump systems, hydropower plants, smart grids, wind power, CO2 capture and transport, and heat and power plants. We will also present a major success story in this area and then conclude the webinar with a summary of the key points. What are the key challenges in the design of power generation and distribution systems? Validation of new energy concepts, the need for early testing of plant designs, the need to check the transient operation of the system, verification of control strategies at the commissioning stage is also a key need. Verification of system reliability and stability is a critical requirement as well. Finally, the optimization of the configuration or operation of the plant is a key challenge which requires a multidisciplinary approach spanning engineering domains, controls, and even usage patterns. Daimler, in conjunction with Modelon Libraries, offer solutions for the energy industry across a wide range of applications, including heat pumps, hydropower plants, smart grids, wind power, CO2 capture and transport, heat power plants, production planning, power plant startup, pipeline safety, liquid cooling systems, heat distribution, smart building applications, and solar power. The first solution and focus for this webinar is heat pumps. Heat pump systems can be simulated with a product called the Vapor Cycle Library. The library is designed for systems that include a phase change in the working fluid including vapor compression cycles for heating or cooling purposes, and organic Rankine cycles for waste heat recovery. With the vapor cycle library, models, component interaction, and dynamic system behavior can be studied at an early design stage. The library contains a large number of working fluids. Combined with liquid cooling library, heat exchanger library, and electric power library, the core thermodynamic processes of the heat pump may become an integrated part of the energy management design for mobile and residential applications. Component models for compressors, expansion devices, and heat exchangers can be combined to investigate different architectures and at varying levels of detail. Both transient and steady state operation can be simulated. The system diagram in the upper picture shows a typical vapor compression cycle. The working fluid, here R407C, absorbs heat from a low temperature heat source, typically ambient air or an available water reservoir. The vapor is first compressed and then condensed at a higher pressure and temperature level, thereby heating the target fluid. In this example, water is used in both the heat sink and source. The target fluid is easily replaced, for example by air or even by an incompressible fluid from the liquid cooling library in a more complex system. This simulation provides a virtual testbed for tuning the system performing parameter studies and system optimization. The user-friendly GUI and post-processing capabilities of Daimler enable you to monitor the process dynamically during the simulation. Within the hydropower sector, we offer libraries that can be used even at the commissioning stage, for example, for testing of new control strategies and for the development and verification of new hydropower plant designs. In combination with the hydropower library, Daimler provides an excellent environment for tuning plant controllers for optimal hydropower plant performance. The library can also be used for analysis of waterway dynamics and analysis of extreme working conditions of the plant, such as load rejection. Specific simulations of commissioning hydropower plant tests and procedures can be performed, thereby reducing the risk of unexpected events and minimizing costly tests done on the actual plant. Some examples where these products have been used include verification of plant behavior during transient operating conditions to ensure that specific working conditions do not cause safety problems, and analysis and evaluation of control strategies for cascaded hydro plants. The image in the slide shows a model of a complete hydropower plant with water reservoirs, penstocks, turbines, power grid, and control system. The model simulates startup, including synchronization to the grid. Here are some typical results from these types of dynamic simulations. The upper left plot shows the generator frequency and the upper right plot the generator power. 
Electric power systems can be readily modeled and simulated, including AC three-phase systems, AC one-phase systems, and DC systems. Over the last several years, we have developed expertise in modeling, simulation, and initialization of both steady-state and transient models. Typical challenges in the field are reaching an optimal grid configuration and operation, and also reliability and stability of the system. One of the key benefits for the practicing engineer is the opportunity for multi-domain integration. Thus, the electric power library components provide standardized interfaces to thermal and mechanical domains and are straightforward to combine with other libraries to represent electric power and actuation. Another key benefit of using Daimler together with the electric power library is the possibility to test different control strategies for the electrical system. Typical applications of the electric power library include e-mobility, electric power plants, cooling, and more. The library is also well suited for control design and supports different reference frame representations. One emerging application area is smart grids and requires modeling of electric grids which allow for local production of energy, preferably from renewable sources such as solar, wind, and hydropower, combined with distributed energy storage such as batteries. The smart grid approach enables local energy sources to better match consumption and production and robustness of supply. Networks comprising simplified models of production units and consumer loads, as well as controls, have been developed both on a household or smart house level and city block or village level using a distribution grid. In the figure, you see a distributed smart grid solution for integrating several sources of power for the needs of a residential area. The solution is designed to comply with an imposed profile of power consumption, as you see in the lower plot. Another solution using electric power library is for grid-connected wind power systems, ranging from capturing energy from wind by the rotor all the way to grid-connected electric AC power. The electrical components such as generator, converters, DC link, and transformer are all based on the Modelica electric power library. Major benefits rely, as with all our applications, in the systemic integration of different domains, here integrating mechanical and electrical systems. Another important benefit comes from empowering the engineer with a systematic method to develop and analyze different control and operation possibilities. With this application, we have expertise in the following key areas, performance analysis, component calibration, control loops for controlling rotor speed, optimization of power output and rotor efficiency, and testing under various scenarios, both on a single plant as well as multi-plant level. It has been demonstrated that Daimler and Modelica are ideal for operational studies and performance assessments of such systems. The example in the picture shows reactive compensation at various wind speeds for different wind power plants. Modlon works with several large energy suppliers to help them in their development of CO2 separation processes. We have experience in modeling, simulation, and optimization of several different approaches to produce CO2-free power in connection to coal or oil-based power plants. Establishing these types of cross-domain simulations requires integration of multi-domain systems. Due to the complexity of these systems, one of the key challenges is building a model that includes the correct level of detail for representative system behavior. Our solutions rely therefore on Daimler combined with a series of libraries and targeted models for specific tasks. The tools and methods we have developed allow customers to predict the outcome of different designs or operational options on the economy and safety of the power plant. Motivated by an increasing demand for flexible power generation, our solutions are based on dynamic simulation and optimization and ensure an efficient incorporation of the separation unit into power plants. We have successfully provided solutions to large energy suppliers for performance assessment of absorption-based separation processes and for dynamic analysis of CO2 transport pipelines, including failure models, with companies like Vattenfall or Norwegian Acker Clean Carbon. The upper picture shows the model of a carbon dioxide absorption process. The solvent, an amine, is loaded in the absorber column with carbon dioxide from the flue gas stream entering the component. The gas is then stripped from the fluid in the desorber, separated from water, and further processed for storage. The energy for the process is usually extracted from the steam turbine of the power generation process and therefore creates an interaction between the two parts of the system and their dynamics. The temperature profile in the absorber column is a characteristic for a cho chosen column design. The operation can be monitored dynamically and is in this case used to validate the component model. 
The main challenge within heat and power plant domains is that often new energy concepts need to be analyzed and proved out before they can be integrated with or replace existing technology. The Thermal Power Library offers solutions for modeling of conventional and conceptual power plants. These models can be used to verify the design, analyze performance, and develop control strategies for robust and optimal performance. The solutions provided by Daimla and the Thermal Power Library offer much higher flexibility compared to typical power plant analysis tools. These solutions handle a very wide range of steam process configuration, which allows evaluation of new concepts at very early design phases. This technology has been successfully applied in a wide range of power plant types, including coal and gas fired in both large and small scale power plants. We demonstrate with the use case taken from the analysis of the interaction between a CO2 removal unit and a coal-based power plant. The image to the right shows a heat recovery steam generator. It includes standard components such as heat exchangers, pressure losses, sensors, valves, and drums. The green color represents flue gas flow through heat exchangers, and components with blue color are for water and steam. In this example, we have introduced controllers to monitor the pressure and the condensate level in the drum. Such an application typically provides the user with an animation showing the temperature distribution along the flue gas path and water steam path. The models are not restricted to a particular media. The same component can be used to model an organic ranking cycle, which we will demonstrate next. This solution includes a steam turbine system built around a ranking cycle. Let's look at the system in more detail within the Daimler environment. This demonstration in Daimler is for a ranking cycle. The first step is to load the library we need. So we'll go to File, Libraries, and then choose the Thermal Power Library. This step will load the library into Daimler. Once opened, you can see the structure of the library in the package browser. It consists of different components suitable for modeling thermal power plants. Now we will directly go to the ranking cycle example by navigating to Examples, Plants, Ranking Cycle. The model that we have loaded is a dynamic model of a simple Rankin cycle. This model consists of different standard components, such as drum, pressure losses, volumes, valves, turbines, generator, condenser, and pumps. It also includes a control system, which controls the level and the pressure in the drum. The amount of added heat is defined by a step source. The added heat will boil the circulating water into steam. In the model, there are also several visualization components, which are used for animation of the result, and we will take a look at the animation later. We will start by simulating this model. To do so, we change to simulation mode, and then click Simulation Setup to specify the desired duration of the simulation, 1000 seconds, and press Enter. The next step is to run the simulation. Pressing the Simulate button will first compile the model and then run the simulation. In the log file, we can see that the simulation is finished and that it was successful. We can now choose to plot variables via the variable browser. An alternative to manually plotting the variables is to have a predefined plotting script. To run a script, we click on the script icon, then we choose the script we want to run. The upper left plot shows the generated power, below is the drum pressure, upper right shows the turbine mass flow, and at the bottom right, the added heat to the system is displayed. The orange line on the plot represents the current time. This indication is useful when combining plots with animations. So now we'll have a look at the diagram view. First, we will close the plots and then return to the system diagram view, where it is possible to zoom in and out. To visualize the animation, you can click on the green arrow to start the animation. It's possible to specify the speed of the animation if you, for example, want to run faster or slower than real time. An alternative is to manually drag this slider and see directly on the diagram how the level in the drum and condenser changes. The model also visualizes the working process in the pH diagram, and pressure, enthalpy, temperature, and mass flow are displayed at various locations in the system. It is also possible to quickly see how system parameters affect the result. Let's say we want to simulate the same system, but with a slightly higher heat load. First, we compile the model, and after that, choose the boiling heat component. This component specifies the amount of heat that is added to the system. We increase the offset, let's say by 10%, and start a new simulation with the new slightly higher heat load value. 
After the simulation is finished, we enabled the Compare Results checkbox and filter the result for summary variables to provide quick access to the most common and important variables. The Compare Result checkbox will also display the result from previous simulations in the same plot window. We can plot, for example, the steam mass flow rate through the turbine. Two signals are shown. The red is from the current simulation and the blue one from the previous simulation. Due to the additional heat, the steam mass flow through the turbine will be higher compared to the previous simulation. We can also have a look at the drum pressure and see how the pressure controller handles the extra heat. As expected, the extra heat gives a higher peak in the pressure during the load change. We have just demonstrated a dynamic model of a Rankine cycle with the boundary condition for the heat load applied with a ramp. The system was assembled from standard, parameterized, and fully configurable components, including a control system for control of the drum pressure and level. This model can be used to analyze both transient and steady state behavior. We also demonstrated some standard post-processing in Daimler, including basic plotting functionality and animation of the diagram layer, which provides a convenient way to get an overview of the states of the system. Without recompiling the model, it is possible to conduct sensitivity analysis by changing parameter settings and simulating. The Compare Results feature provides the capability to compare signals across a number of simulations. A success story for the application of Daimler technology is Sodra Cell Murum, a pulp mill in Sweden producing over 425,000 tons per year. This work with Solvina AB involved optimization of a steam distribution system with the goals of increasing power production and decreasing steam surplus. A dynamic process model was developed using Daimola to optimize the system. Analytic optimization using the dynamic model highlighted critical areas for improvement, including a new boiler, slower dynamics, and the importance of a correct buffer size. The resulting decrease in steam surplus and increase in power production yielded an immediate value of 500,000 euros per year. The successful application of this technology also led to the introduction of dynamic simulation during process design. With earlier application of these tools and the ability to develop the proper control solutions from the start of operation, the long-term value of this implementation has been measured at 900,000 euros per year. This table provides a list of products relevant for system simulations in the energy industry. The solutions presented in this webinar are covered by four libraries. Vapor Cycle Library, Hydropower Library, Electric Power Library, and Thermal Power Library. The simulations are performed using Daimola, a systems engineering simulation tool belonging to the Katia family. Daimola, combined with the Modlon libraries, is a best in class solution for model based systems engineering of power generation and energy distribution systems. Based on the powerful and open Modelica language, these solutions allow for multi-domain simulations across a range of engineering disciplines. With transient simulation capability, these tools offer a powerful platform for system optimization and control strategy development. Daimler offers an extensive set of component libraries with over 15 domain-specific libraries available. Daimler is an industry-proven solution for energy system simulation. Demonstrated benefits include acceleration of plant dimensioning, commissioning, and even operator training. Daimler supports early testing and virtual prototyping and has resulted in major reductions in development and operational costs. Thank you for listening to this webinar. For more information, please visit 3ds.com slash Daimler.